Hello game fans and welcome to another episode of Greenlight Highlights brought to you by the Steamchamber.com. We have got another six Greenlight games for you to look at this week, which we think are worth giving a second chance. So please do check the titles out if you like the look of them. Now the first game we're looking at this week is Mock Mock, which is a musical adventure game with a multiplayer music making sandbox twist. Now this one has up to, up to 16 players online and relies on you manipulating small living instruments called mocks. Now you can either create your own compositions with a powerful yet quite simple tool or you can work with others to create pieces created by multiple users or you can even download other people's compositions from their Mockopedia. This one has quite a nice cutesy quirky looking style to it and has got some really nice sound assets as well. Right, moving on, we have Mimpy, which is a really nice looking little puzzle platformer, or just platformer with puzzle elements. I hate the term puzzle platformer now because it's so overused. However, this one has a really nice, unique, cute art style. You play the part of Mimpy, who must make his way through eight different illustrated worlds with very much different themes in order to track down your lost master. Now you do this by general platforming but also solving various puzzles and use, utilizing various adventure mechanics to overcome your obstacles. The game also features very unique puzzles and lots of mini games as well as several secrets in the form of 24 short comics to discover. The game does have a story but it doesn't it's completely told without words. There's no dialogue whatsoever. It's all told visually. It's a really nice looking game with a really lovely really nice unique style to it that really isn't like anything else out there so do check that one out. Next up we have Quadradius which is a strategy board game type game which is on PC, Mac and Linux and will have complete cross-platform multiplayer. So there is a single player mode and a multiplayer mode and they're billing it as something of a mix between checkers and 3D chess sort of on crack. There's uh, some it's sort of various checkers gameplay but you've got power ups to utilize as well so you don't tend to be able to move forward backwards left and right however you can get various power ups that allow you to move diagonally or to attack nearby pieces. The aim of the game is essentially to land on all the enemy pieces and wipe them from the board in order to win. Now the the board isn't a standard setup, there are various different grid patterns for the board and as I say there are lots of these power-ups as well uh, which are spread out across the board and you must land on in order to pick up. So there's some really nice interesting effects there. It's a board game married very much with a computer game. It's a really nice looking mix. It's quite a nice looking game. The team also seem to be having a bit of fun with it and put a lot of humour into their videos. However, they're not necessarily that funny. <laughs> However, it does look an interesting game. So if you're into your strategy and into your board games, do have a look at that one. Right, something different with this next game which is Unsworn. Now this one has just been launched on Kickstarter and I wouldn't normally as I've said before in the past, I don't like to always include Kickstarter games, but I tend to only pick Kickstarter games if they've been funded already or are very close. However, this one looked quite nice and it's just been launched and what's quite nice is it's going to be on PC, Mac and mobile devices as well as the Wii if anybody out there actually owns one and plans on buying any games for it rather than just running emulators on it. This is a top-down sci-fi RPG action game with a sort of shooter elements which looks really nice. It's got a nice sort of art style to it. It's very much sort of Metal Gear Solid meets Halo and they've got, they've got, seems to have gone into quite a lot of trouble to set up a storyline for it and it does look really quite nice so do give that one a look and if you do like the look of it not only vote for it on Greenlight but of course do go and check out the Kickstarter page for it as well. Right, we're back on the multiplayer again, this time with Atomic Ninjas, which some of you may be familiar with already as this is a port from the PlayStation 3 and the PS Vita. 
and it is a really bright, fast-paced little action brawler beat-em-up which sees you teaming up with your friends or against randoms online in order to smash the living hell out of each other. Think something along the lines of the showdown effect with Super Smash Bros, only with little ninjas instead, with a really nice sort of cartoony look in a 2.5D style. This one's had a bit of attention in the past, obviously, with it being on PlayStation, so it has been picked up in the past by bigger outlets and bigger websites. However, this one has just been launched on Greenlight and it hasn't achieved a whole lot of attention as of yet. Like I say, it's got local and online multiplayer and there are lots of different game modes and lots of different abilities to use and it's got a really nice graphical style as well, that one. Right, so last but definitely not least, we have something a bit different for you this week. We have a double bill. Now, this is Out of the Park Baseball 14 and Franchise Hockey Manager. And the reason I've put them both in as one and I've done them as a double is they are made by the same guy and Out of the Park uh, Baseball 14 has been out a while and it's quite a long running series which, and it is a strategy simulation, sports sim, in much in the vein of Football Manager, only this is of course for baseball. And it's an older title that he's had out for a while. And Franchise Hockey Manager, also made by the same guy, is his new unfinished game, which will be probably be coming out, if it does get greenlit, will probably release in stages and will get updated over time. And is currently being developed at the minute, whereas Out of the Park Baseball has been out for a while. So there's not a huge dissimilarity between the two. He plans on making Franchise Hockey Manager, obviously give it a few improvements, make it a much bigger game than the previous baseball titles. However, they are very much the same in that they are just sports sims. They are football manager, only hockey and baseball in this case. Really nice looking games, really clear looking information and something a bit different rather than just playing football manager over and over again. If you are into the sim games, like these sim games like I am myself, it's nice to have something a bit different. Plus, as someone who understands American football and is into ice hockey it's quite nice to have something that will further your interest in it and maybe will get new people into the sports so yes those two titles are also available on Steam now as always all these games there will be links at the bottom taking you directly to their green light pages and if there are demos available then we'll have links to the demos as well as always, thank you very much for watching and thank you for giving both the channel and our website time. If you haven't been to the website, if you're watching this through YouTube, then please do visit our website, which is thesteamchamber.com, where you'll get more info than we generally put on YouTube, as we tend to put written articles on the website as well, whereas YouTube is just for our videos, obviously. Uh, thank you as well for giving these green light games the time as well as they really do need the attention because this is very much a community thing and if you've enjoyed them please don't forget to go and vote for them as well because they do really need your votes. Thank you, please do like, comment and subscribe to help our rankings and we'll be back soon.